Brittany Bell from our New York City station, WABC, for the storm track and also this historic heat wave sweeping the country. But, Brittany, we have to start with barrel. What do people need to know? And that's right. So, so far, it's been slow to get stronger, but that will change later today because that will rapidly intensify to a hurricane right before it makes landfall. Right now, still a tropical storm. These are the latest alerts. So we have a storm surge warning stretching from Corpus Christi towards Galveston Bay, also a hurricane warning as well nearby. The latest track this morning has shifted just a tad bit to the east. Still expected to make landfall late tonight through the pre-dawn hours tomorrow morning with max sustained winds around 80 85 miles per hour near Matagorda Bay and slowly weakening to a tropical storm as that moves farther inland, but still bringing heavy rainfall. Along the west and the east coast, it has just been toasty. We're talking about record heat. Death Valley had a record high of 128 degrees. Las Vegas, 115. Also, Palmdale, 115. That was an all-time record high. And Medford, 112, burns around 102. So even though it's a dry heat, this is still pretty uncomfortable. Back to you guys. Uncomfortable and unsafe <laughs> in certain parts, Brittany. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. That record heat you just saw is fueling hundreds of wildfires in California. Authorities saying the Lake Fire in Santa Barbara County has now covered more than 13,000 acres. And a new wildfire in Mariposa County has prompted evacuation orders there, displacing more than 1,000 people. Cal Fire says hot and dry conditions in that region are expected to continue into early next week.